late to the selfie drone category, but the ultra-compact $500 Spark is easily one of the best. When it launched in May, DJI put the spotlight on its gesture controls that let you launch it, focus the camera on yourself, move it into position, and then have it snap a photo, all without connecting to a phone or controller. Sensors in front keep it from getting too close, but you can also give your hand a wave and it'll fly back some to get a wider shot for groups or just more of the background. It's an attention grabber for sure, but it's limited to photos at the moment, which for me limits its appeal. These hand gesture controls are just a fraction of what the Spark can do though. Paired with the DJI Go 4 app, you can snap more sophisticated selfies with the quick shot mode and its four preset flight paths that create instant video clips with music. Other flight modes trickled down from DJI's higher end models too, and you can also pilot with virtual sticks though it's not the best experience, so if you plan to do a lot of manual flying, spend $150 to get its excellent little controller so you can take full advantage of its capabilities, including its 31 mile per hour sport mode. You'll probably want to add a couple of its $50 batteries to your car too, because flight times are less than 16 minutes. The good news is the Spark can be charged by micro USB, so you can always fly and charge on the go. Oh, and it also has the best camera you're going to find on a drone this size, due in part to its two-axis motorized gimbal. Outside of the wind gust, the little drone stays steady and captures great-looking Full HD video. Still, between the drone, batteries, and controller, you'll be a few hundred dollars away from the more capable DJI Mavic Pro. But if your main goal is getting impressive automatic aerial selfies first and maybe learning to be a pilot down the road, start your shopping here.